Hello class, today what we're going to do is talk about two ways we can display data. Uh, one being a dot plot, and the other being a histogram. So the first one is the dot plot. So let's just look at this example. We have this set of data. Um, pretty much what you got to do is make a number line, starting with the lowest number that we have, which is 1, go to the biggest number that we have, which is 9, and go up by 1s each time. Every time that that number falls in your data set, you put a dot. So I have a one there, a one there, and one there. So I've got one, two, three dots. That represents the three ones that I have in my data set. Two, I've got one, two, three twos. My two threes are there, and so on and so forth. So if you continue that data, then what we see is this general pattern and this general shape of our data, which we'll talk about later as to why we would want to know about that. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is a frequency table. Frequency table is used to create a histogram. Um, there are two rules that we need to know. One is that we want 5 to 10 bins. Bins are these little things, um, like the ranges of numbers that our data is going to fall within. And then number two is that those bins should have the same width. So they have to have the same width consistent throughout the whole thing. So if you notice, I made my bins a width of 2 and we've got numbers from 1 to 9. So I know that I have 10 numbers to go through, and so if I want to get my 5 bins, I'm going to take my 10, which is my range, divided by 5, which makes the 2. So then I get my 2, my width of my bin as a 2. So I go 1 to 2, 3 to 4, and if you notice, I'm going up by 2's in that first column, 2's in the second column. Be careful whenever you go across, that you don't add to. The reason why we don't go 1 to 3 is because that includes 3 numbers. So you go 1, 2, 3 would be 3 numbers, not 2 numbers. And we needed 2. So my data from 1 to 2, same data as my dot plot. So I fall, I got 6 numbers that are between 1 and 2. I got 3 numbers that are between 3 and 4. One number between 5 and 6. One number between 7 and 8 one number between 9 and 10. So that frequency just counts the number of times our data falls within that range of numbers. And so then after we get our frequency table, we can then create our histogram. So our histogram looks a lot like a bar graph, but our bars are going to touch, and we're using quantitative data instead of categorical data. The bar graph goes with categorical data. A histogram goes with quantitative data. So we still have our same frequency table and now what we're going to do is use that. Our frequency will always go on the vertical axis and then whatever our variable is that's going to go we need to label our x-axis as that variable. We we'll do our bins here along the bottom so I got 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6, 7 to 8, 9 to 10. Our frequency goes up and you just draw the bar the height of our frequency that we have from our table. So I know that between 1 and 2 goes up to 6 and then we get our general shape from this as well. This gives us a lot better idea of what's going on quickly and that's why we display our data in these different types of graphs.